and now I'm I'm mentoring lots of of students of doctors. Yeah, yeah. In facial plastic surgery, and I walk around and I travel around Brazil. Wow. Giving lectures and doing my best. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Rhinoplasty Podcast with me, Dr. Cameron McIntosh, season four, and I have finally nailed down somebody that I found so intriguing on social media. This lady is such an inspiration. She's like on top of her game. So it's a great honor to have Leila Freri on the show. Uh, it's an honor to me. Um, it's a pleasure to be here and to talk about whatever you want. Awesome, man. So Leila, tell me, first question. Where do you come from? I come from Brazil. Brazil? Brazil. Where in Brazil? I'm, I'm from Sao Paulo. Yeah. I work in Sao Paulo, but yeah. I'm, I was born in Recife. It's in the northeast of Brazil. Yeah. And since 2001, I went to Sao Paulo to study. And my residence, it was there at the University of Sao Paulo. Okay. Um, ENT. Yeah. And then afterwards, I did my fellowship in facial plastic surgery there in the same place. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards I began to be um, the um, one of the preceptors of the, the service, of yeah. ENT service in facial plastic surgery. I work in a post-graduation course too. Yeah. But then and I'm going to talk about my history, my background. I'm a speech language pathologist too. And really? I studied, yeah, and I studied to be a nurse. So, yeah, but then I'm, I'm going to talk about my, 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 my life uh, later. And now I'm a doctor, I'm ENT, facial plastic surgeon. Uh, I studied my postdoc, now yeah. I'm studying. And my PhD was in, in uh, innovative technique in rhinoplasty. Yeah. Yeah, in alar based reduction. And Goodness. And, and like your family life and kids and stuff like that? Well, uh, my family life, I have my, my father, my mother. I didn't, I didn't get married, but, yeah. uh, but I'm okay. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm okay. post-doc have, and you've got yeah. so many things. I, I have so many things. I can I, understand maybe how you managed to do yeah, that if you didn't have It's this. hard because I live in Sao Paulo and my father and my mother, they live in, in Recife. I'm always, I have two offices and I have to work there in Recife and I work in Sao Paulo. And now I'm, I'm mentoring lots of, of students, of doctors. Yeah, yeah in facial plastic surgery and I walk around and I travel around Brazil wow. giving lectures and doing my best. It's uh, doing my best is giving lecture what I love. I love teaching, I love rhinoplasty, I love facial plastic surgery and I put lots of love and passion in what I do. And this is I think is the but it's amazing in my life. But it's also a Brazilian way of life. I mean, I've been fortunate to be in Brazil a few times in my previous career as a canoeist. And uh, even in Sao Paulo, I remember there was a stopover and I had some hours and went to Copacabana Beach. Yes. And saw these crazy strong guys doing weights on the beach and everything. But Brazil is an incredibly rich country. But what really stands out to me about the, the kind of the, if I think of Brazilians, is they're humble, eh? They're humble, caring people. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but don't don't worry about that. It's 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 you have everything different there, in in Brazil, lots of cultures and, yeah. and kind of people and different ethnics, and so it's it's really uh, diff different from you have lots of things in a huge country, and different things of. Foods and ways of life, of ways of of feelings, of yeah. ways of, of thinking about their selves, and it's really it's a wonderful and sometimes mystery and sometimes uh, they are very uh, warm people. But now bringing that into a facial plastics practice, it's such a diverse culture. Yes. I mean, you're dealing with like the Mezio yes. noses, you're dealing yes. with the European noses. Yes. You've Everything. really got to know. Yes. You, like this whole wave of new preservation in, in, in Europe has been going for decades in South America. 
Yeah, but uh, you, can you imagine, you have everything in the north and the northeast of Brazil and the south, they're different. Yeah. So you have, uh, each nose, they're different. And you can, you can treat them individually, and then you can treat with preservation, you can treat with the structure, you can treat it with hybrid uh, rhinoplasty, because you have lots of kind of noses. Yeah. In the northeast is one with thick skin and a low dorsal. In the south you have a huge nose with thin skin, with blue eyes. Yeah. In the middle of Brazil you have the mestizo. And so you can, you can, you have to know all the, the kinds of techniques yes, yes, yes. and to use all of them yeah. together because you have to understand each one yeah. and to treat each one different. Yeah. And it's, I think it's more dif difficult thing is to, to teach. Yeah. And when to teach and to learn exactly what are you going to do in each nose in a huge country, in a small yeah. places. Yeah, yeah. And that is too challenging, really. But if you really know how to do it, mm. you can do your best to all your, exactly. your patients. Okay, I, I have two more topics I want to chat to you about. The one topic is a topic that some people don't really want to speak about, but I think it's really important, is this whole thing of women in facial plastic surgery. Like, you are super successful in what you've done. So my question is, how have you managed? Because I think it's, it's hard. really hard. It's, and it's hard. It, in the same question I have is, what are your words to the young female surgeons coming through now? I think the word is focus. 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 You have to have focus. You never have to have uh, fear. Yeah, yeah. You have to have love, yeah. patience, and you have to, to have discipline. If you don't have these kind of things, you're not going to, to go anywhere. Anywhere. Have you wanted to give up previously? Have you had some bad experiences? Yes, I had. Really? But I didn't give up. But and you've I, had some the, the good experiences yes, aren't way that. Yes, but I think I'm I'm always trying to do my best to everyone, to my patients, to my colleagues, to my friends, yeah. to the other doctors. So I think when you do your best to with truth. Yeah. Yeah. When you're, you are clear, you don't have fear, and when you look at your eyes and you say to the person that what's real, yeah. they trust in you. Yeah. And so I do my best, I do what I love. I, I have friends all around the world, and in Brazil too. And this, I have a good family so, to give me support. So but that, that shines through for me so clearly in your social media presence. And that's the next question that I want to ask you about is how do you manage in a fake world, many ways, to be the real Layla in social media and really be who you are and add value? I'm, 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 I'm Layla in the social media. I'm Layla here. I'm Layla everywhere. I'm Layla in Brazil. I'm Layla... And I have friends all, all along, around the world, and I'm, I'm, I try to be what I am yeah. here and everywhere. So I think it's, 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 it's true what I put in my media. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's, it's true what I live. It's true my work, my life. Yeah. So I, I try to, to show the people how I live, how I work, how I... I do my my things. Yeah. How is how is my my family? My father, my mother, uh, my 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 family is too small. So I try to do this. And for the young surgeons, they I think it's it's important to have your focus and yeah. never give up. Even yes. the person tells you that you don't yeah, yeah. have uh, you're not able to do. Yeah. So look at him and say okay. And go. Yeah, I just ignore them, eh? Okay. If you had the patient, the perfect patient to do the rhinoplasty on, 
which is the one that you get very excited with when you sleep at night, the night before the operation, you think? Sorry, I didn't understand. So if you had the opportunity to do the perfect rhinoplasty, yes. which is that one that you love? Like those patients that come and you're like, ooh, I can't they wait. Love, I can't uh, wait yes. to do your rhinoplasty. The ethnic nose. Really? Eh? Yes. Okay. Because they, they, we have lots of challenges in that. The thick skin, yeah. the low dorsum without enough cartilage. Okay. So this is, is really the challenge. I like, I like, like challenges. Challenge. Yes. And, okay, now in that challenge, what are for you the key things you have to get right in an ethnic nose? The key things yeah. without giving uh, um, stigma. Yes. So you have to, to, dis to get discipline without making mistakes, not giving stigma to that nose yeah. without making mistakes with the function yeah. to, to breathe well to give their their ethnic nose giving natural to be natural to be um, delicate to be exactly the thing that the person needs yes. and uh, what it, it's the what you change um, what you change uh, uh, talks and, and the ideas of the patient and the doctor and they feel the art of the rhinoplasty. Mm -hmm. So wow. this is... I'm getting all inspired here and thinking, wow, this is great, eh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the last question I have for you is what do you do in your time off when you are not working like you do? Oh, yeah, this is a good question. This is a good question. I have lots of things to do. Uh, and then it's, it's a few moments because I have to to take care of myself, my health. But I like I'm always I, I practice since I was a child. I practice uh, handball. You know handball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, for it's very long, small in South Africa. Yes, I I, I've played it for a long time. Yeah. Then I changed my my sport to tennis. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm playing beach tennis. Oh, beach tennis? Yes, it's fantastic. Wow. Yeah, I like very much. And now I play beach tennis. That's cool. So this is a, it's a good way for having health yeah. to have a balance and harmony with your life mm -hmm. and to get, get healthy. Oh, that's awesome, man. So sure. in my free time, I like to do it. It's great. Time. And I think it's a good idea. Mm. You have to try. I'll try. I'll come to Brazil and try. So, <laughs> you're welcome to Brazil Thanks, to man. try, and then yeah. you can play together. That would be cool. Yes. Guys, thank you. It's uh, on behalf of the listeners. This is really special to hear you being so vulnerable and open and telling us about what you've done in your life. And yeah, you know, I just think carry on being Layla. It's, it's just a really yeah, cool I think, inspiration. Yes, I think the person who's coming to me, that he's going to see Layla is, is this. Layla is, cool. is bright. Layla is, is true. Yeah. So that's me. Awesome. Well, thank and you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I appreciate a lot the yeah. opportunity to be here and to, to talk about life, my life. Yeah, it's cool. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much eh? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Guys, make sure you come back again next week for another episode of the Rhinoplasty Podcast. For those of you who are only listening to this on a podcast platform, please try and reach out and get onto YouTube because on our YouTube channel, we've got some really cool clips where I interview the guests.